The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration just releasing its annual hurricane forecast. It is predicting an above normal hurricane season for the seventh consecutive year. For more, ABC News meteorologist Melissa Griffin joins me now to help break down what this means. So, Melissa, looking at this forecast, what's the updated outlook? Yeah, Deirdre, Noah just updated it earlier today. And let me tell you, not much has changed. They're still expecting an above average season. I want to show you what we're working with so far this season, though. Not much has gone on yet, but that's totally normal because the peak of hurricane season is just now beginning. Mid-August through mid-October is when we see the most of our activity. So here are the three names we've seen so far. Tropical Storm, Alex and Bonnie and Colin. Zero hurricanes just yet, but like I said, we expect that to uptick. Now, NOAA has just decreased a little bit their confidence on that above normal season from 65% down to 60, but again, that's not much. And here are the latest numbers. Named storms, we're expecting 14 to 20 named storms. Previously in May, they were forecasting 14 to 21. So there's a little bit of a downtick, but again, very, very small. Average 14 storms per season. Hurricanes, six to 10 is what the forecast is. The average is seven per season. So again, those above normal numbers is what we're expecting. And out of those six to 10 hurricanes, three to five of those are forecast to become major hurricanes. That's categories three through five. So it's looking like for the seventh year in a row, another above normal hurricane season. So Melissa, when it comes to forecast factors, what go into it? A lot goes into it. And you know what? It's so great that they're able to update these forecasts because the first outlook came out in May. And now the updated version is here in early August. They had two months of observing these temperatures in the ocean, of observing these latest models. So before, during the first outlook, it was all predictions. Now it's more observations. They're more confident that La Nina will last through the rest of the year. That enhances hurricane activity in the, in the Atlantic. Weaker trade winds, an active western African monsoon, all of these these factors are showing favorable to conditions for hurricane activity. And of course, those likely above normal sea surface temperatures, that's what they've been observing the past two months in the Atlantic, and that is a trend is expected to continue throughout the season. Now, I want to do make sure everyone is, understands that these numbers, they're not forecasting the landfall. This is just the forecast of how many storms will be anywhere in the northern Atlantic this season or in the Gulf Coast. Well, Melissa, you told us a little bit about how this season compares to previous seasons, but especially intense ones, at least it feels like it, that we've seen recently. Is that real or perception? Yeah, I mean, intense is a word for those last two seasons we've seen. 2021, a record-breaking season, 30 named storms, the most we've ever seen. And just last year, we exhausted all the names on our list yet again, two years in a row. And look at this map, because you can see the majority of that activity all along the Gulf Coast. The last two years, you've seen Category 4 hurricanes, two of them hitting Louisiana. And that's what we're expecting, more activity in the Gulf Coast. But we are in a higher activity area, and that can double the chance for more activity on the East Coast as well. So I want everyone to always stay aware. And how does climate change factor into all this? Yeah, so, you know, climate change, we have two big topics that you can connect climate change to hurricanes, and that includes rapid intensification and extreme rain. So I want to kind of talk a little bit about Hurricane Ida. It kind of showcases both of those, a rapidly intensifying storm that can turn into from a Category 2 to a Category 4 hurricane in just hours, in less than 24 hours, possibly. And, of course, it's that extreme rain. Even away from landfall, it's that extreme rain that can be inland areas, like we saw from Hurricane Ida in the Northeast. That's what NOAA's urging everyone to prepare for um, across this hurricane season. Deirdre. Melissa, thank you so much. Melissa Griffin with us there. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.